this is Preeti from Analytics India magazine and today's episode is a weekly update from the world of data science. Everything from new launches, latest research, cyber threats and events that have happened in the past 7 days will be covered here. So let's get started. Coming to the first news, Google's conversational AI Duplex has uploaded more than 3 million business listings since the pandemic. With Duplex, you can ask Google Assistant to call businesses for you to make reservations, book appointments, get hours of operations and more. Let's take an example of booking an appointment in a restaurant. When you find a restaurant using Google search or maps, you can ask Google Assistant to call on your behalf. Google Assistant will confirm specific details like your preferred time, type of service or size of the party. Once this information is confirmed, Google Assistant will try to book an appointment by using an online booking partner or by calling the business using the duplex automated voice calling technology. Coming to the next one, Google introduces song matching via humming, whistling or singing. Google has added a new feature that lets you figure out what song is stuck in your head by humming, whistling or singing. A much more advanced version of the kind of song matching audio feature that it and competitors like Apple's Shazam have offered previously. Users will be able to open either the latest version of the mobile Google app or the Google search widget and then tap the microphone icon and either verbally ask to search a song or hit the search a song button and start making noises. Moving on, Cruise can now test driverless vehicles on the streets of San Francisco. Cruise, the self-driving company owned by General Motors, has been approved to test its driverless cars on public roads in California. The company says it plans to test vehicles without a human safety driver behind the vehicle before the end of 2020. Moving on to some exciting news that happened this week, Apple introduces iPhone 12. As expected, Apple unveiled its latest iPhone generation at the oddly named High Speed event on 13th October. Four models were released. Pricing for the new iPhone starts at $799. New features include 5G, a magnetic adapter for various accessories and a more durable Corning glass display. Moving on, Blue Origin successfully launches and lands New Shepard. Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin space company launched a new Shepard rocket for a seventh time testing new lunar landing technology for NASA that could help put astronauts back on the moon. The entire flight barely skimming space with a peak altitude of 106 km lasted just 10 minutes and was launched from a remote corner of Texas in the United States. Moving on, Whisper's hearing aid uses AI to boost speech and reduce noise. Whisper emerged from stealth with a new hearing aid built from the ground up. It uses artificial intelligence to learn and adjust in an automated way to different hearing situations like a noisy restaurant or watching TV. And you don't pay thousands of dollars up front, you pay a monthly fee on a 3 year subscription and you get free software updates along the way. Moving on, IBM launches Artificial Intelligence Center in Brazil. Introduced in 2019 by IBM, Brazil has launched the largest research facility that focuses on artificial intelligence through a collaboration between the private and public sector. This AI center, C4AI, has been established to tackle five significant challenges that are related to health, the environment, the food production chain, the future of work and the development of NLP technologies in Portuguese. Coming to the last news of the day, Ministry of MSME introduces AI and ML tools to provide assistance to micro, small and medium enterprises. In an official statement, Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises MSME, the ministry, has started the implementation of AI and ML on its robust single window system Champions, which was launched by the Prime Minister in June 2020. This multi-model system has a portal at the virtual level and technology equipped physical control rooms at around 69 locations of the country. I'll drop the links to the important articles in the description box below. This video comes out every Saturday. So don't forget to subscribe to Analytics India magazine and follow this segment. See you soon. Bye.